so I, I'm coming up this little road, it's sort of my favourite and local, I mean it only takes me five minutes to get here. Nice and windy. We'll go on, it'll uh, go on to gravel very shortly. So it's good for good for practicing the skills. The off-road skills. It's not a busy road. Get the odd car but very rarely. Here we are on the gravel now. So you can practice the skills. I'm going to try and stand up for most of this. So I need to practice, get the legs used to it. The reason why, um, I don't think I've mentioned it before, but in about three weeks' time, I'm going on a 1400 kilometre uh, adventure ride in the South Island of New Zealand. It um, covers a lot of backcountry roads, it's about, I think, it's 500 kilometres off road. A lot of river crossings, just some um, some skill challenges which I don't think I'll be able to do all of them because my, I'm going with my brother who did the trip last year and he said one of the skills, one of the challenges was um, hard for him even, he's been adventure riding since he was about 10 years old and now he's 50. So what he doesn't know about riding bikes isn't worth knowing. So I'll I might miss out that particular stage. I think it was uh, it was called Mount Buster, and it 56 k's. And I think it took them five hours to get over it. And I've seen the videos, and it looks far too hard for me. Anyway, I've got to get used to this sort of stuff. So, testing out a couple of different configurations. I've tilted my handlebars forward, which makes um, standing up, riding standing up, a lot easier because it keeps your weight over the front of the bike so when you're accelerating you can lean forward easier decelerating you lean back over the back wheel Never been up that little road. Hey, my visor up is getting a bit hot in here. Tensing up, haven't been on the bike for a while. Look at his hands, right hand's getting a bit numb. Pins and needles, that just, that's just true. Trying too hard, gripping too hard, not relaxing. That's why I need to practice these skills. Charging along, letting the bike pull you by your hands is really hard work. Get your weight forward. Just let you get on a good point of balance. Let the bike do the work. Someone's been up here on a car. Can 
I might just get home and tilt those handlebars for a wee bit further forward. Just standing up. I don't know if I'm riding on the road, I don't really want it. I want them too far forward. So. I saw it on a, a GS training course I watched on YouTube one day where they made everybody on the course tilt the handlebars way forward so they weren't like they were sticking up at the ends up towards the sky. And they were just saying how easy it was. How much easier it was. Because the controls are in line with your fingers, you know, when you're standing up, you're sort of pointing down. Your fingers are pointing down. Alright, oh, that's the end of the end of the gravel. I like this road too. I think the new gloves need to stretch away, but they're just feeling a wee bit tight. <laughs> 